Tonight on Big Brother, Vesna takes a swipe at Melanie. You're so fat. Get surgery, Mel. Tim's not coping without Kate. It's definitely my worst day in the house. But has he found a new interest? I think it's fair to say you're a very attractive woman, right? The housemates now know they only had two weeks left in the house after being told during Kate's Sunday night eviction. I want something Timmy. Sorry? We're eating. Okay. Greg. Me. Timmy. And I'll grab Timmy's. Yours is massive, man. If you can't eat it, I'll have some. Wait, eight? So, yeah, eight. And your oranges. Oh, thank you, Vess. Thank you, Vess. We're going to be finished by the time Tim starts. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think, dudes, I've got to be honest with you, I'm really... Kate's left and I feel really strange. I know. Really? Yeah. How do you feel? I just don't feel like I'm... You? Or in you? I'm just so used to being here. Mm. Do you feel like you don't want to be here? <sighs> it does no, take I a while to... I want to be here, to... but I just want her to be here. <laughs> yeah, it does take a while to get used to. If you let it go to, it'll eat you away. It'll eat you away, and it'll really affect, you know, what, what mm -hmm. this is meant to be, mate. It will. I don't know you're a thinker about it, but, you know, more or less think on the time that you could have had, just think about the time you did have with the dude. Because you'll be able to do that again very soon. Yeah. That's true. Know. I mean, yeah. Like, knowing that this is number two weeks makes you feel like you know where you're at a bit more yep. and you feel yeah. more comfortable. Yep. Yeah. That's the one thing that came out of last night that I really feel oh, at ease about. Comfortable. What you, what well, I know how long we got to go. Yep, yep, for sure. Not knowing was just so... We could have been it here in three weeks. Mind. I hate the anxiety. I hated not knowing what I was doing. Yep. At least two weeks I can stay longer. You know what I mean? I can go, yep. I can plant myself a little... Yeah. Little goal. You know, mm. not a goal, but just like, oh, yeah. the end is near. It is... I will be out soon, regardless, like this Sunday or... Yeah. Or in another two days, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 This um, is Big Brother. Farmhand. It's time to feed the animals. The goats are now big enough to jump out of their pen, so all of the housemates come along to help Greg with his farmhand duties today. Baby! Melee. Come on, goaties. <laughs> Enter here. Come on. Come on. Hey, Mark, give me the lids out to the bottles. Oh! Ah! <sighs> Are we all done? Yep. Yep. Let's roll. Let's roll. No! Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Just stay down, you silly goat. Talk big brother. You guys go Open over up. there and he'll, because you're the farmhand. <laughs> Please open. Open sesame. Yeah, wait, Tim, See how they do a runner? Wait, wait. Tim, you got to run. Okay, come on, Tim. <laughs> go. Run. Run. Oh. He's doing a run, he's coming. <laughs> Put it in. Quick, close the door. Close the door. Just What's run. What's wrong with you, kid? Yeah, no. Just run next time, mate. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Run. 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 Yeah, rip up some grass. I'll yeah. get them back, and you rip up some grass. Yeah. All right. Now throw it. Throw it underneath. Go. Yes! Woo! 
So from now on, I think we save a little bit of feed. Yeah. And then when um, PB says it's time to go, right. just throw it at him. <laughs> yeah. Keep him occupied. So just go on the bike, this. Yeah. And on that, on this one, just go to 30. Don't go to 40. Yeah. Alright. This is one less water retention, so we're gonna get rid of it. Look at this excess. I get it. I've got it, man. I want it off. But a I've lot of running it. will get it. Yeah. Mel. Yes. There's nothing wrong with your bones sticking out of your hipster. Oh, it's because I'm not treating <laughs> hip bones, all right? <laughs> what else do you want? I can't help it that they you stick make out. It, you make me feel like the fat lady. You've got nothing there. Your rib bones are sticking out. Your hip bones are sticking out. I didn't say. Your collar I bones just protruding. Said... It's skin. All right. Get surgery, Mel. Get plastic surgery. I reckon she gets surgery. You're so fat. Get surgery, Mel. I didn't say I was fat, best nah. Yeah, your belly's huge. Get it cut off. Get a tummy tuck. That's what you really need. <laughs> oh, Bessie, I love you. And I will not eat and exercise 24-7. No, you will not. <laughs> no, I won't. Of course, I have to eat. I love food. Coming up, Tim's nomination frustration. I might be wet and I might be weak, but I find that difficult and it gnaws away at me and I don't particularly enjoy it. To a big Vesna, dial 1902 555578 or SMS Vesna to 191010. Voting costs 55 cents, including GST. Calls for mobiles higher. Voting and SMS lines close at 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 7th of August. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. This is Big Brother. <laughs> Tim, to the diary room. <clears throat> With only four housemates remaining, today is the last time they'll ever have to nominate each other for eviction. Tim, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? For two points for eviction, I nominate Vesna. I've got a feeling that we're all going to be up. Yeah? Mm. We're down to the last four, like... It's pretty good how we've come this far. Oh, mate. I'm absolutely wrapped. Every day's a I bonus. I stayed more than one day. Yeah. I'm so wrapped. From day one, everything was a bonus. Tim, who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? For one point, I nominate Logan Gregg. Um, I feel like our friendship is just coasting along. You were in there for ages. Was I? Yeah. You were there for a while. Was I? Tim will be in there for ages, I think. Tim, last week you saved Logan Gregg from nomination. Yeah. Are you being strategic? Well, I've got three people to pick from and I've got to pick two. Um, you know, we're reaching a stage in the process where it is exceedingly hard to um, think about seriously who you're going to nominate. It's hard enough to do that and to people that you feel very close to come in here and say all these bad things about them without having to be questioned closely as to why you're doing it. Tim, Big Brother has every right to question your nomination. Big Brother was not asking you to change your nomination. It was a straightforward question. Your nomination has been accepted. That is all. Thank you. This is Big Brother. Housemates, you are free to leave the lounge. Big Brother will call you back with the results of this week's nominations. Good afternoon. Mate. Right. Do you want to help me, Mel? Tim. Big brother. Look, I'm really quite disturbed by this whole nomination thing. I'm... I just can't stop thinking about it because I just feel like I haven't explained myself or I haven't... I don't know, I haven't... What the hell is Tim doing in the diary room? 
Oh, I think it's disgusting how ridiculous he thinks that nominations are at this point. He seems to feel very strongly about it. I oh, know, we were... We all need to understand. As far as Big Brother is concerned, he's made it extremely clear to us yeah. just how difficult they are. I didn't have a problem with it because I didn't think I was ever going to come this far. So I thought, you know. I've had one really good friend who I've really delighted in. That's Kate, and she's left yesterday. And she was a really big part of the pleasure I took in this house. And I really enjoyed seeing her every day and her being around, and suddenly she's not around. And then to have to sit here and... I mean, don't you think I feel like I'm betraying Greg by sitting here and saying, and nominating him? I find that really difficult. I might be, I might be wet and I might be weak. But I find that difficult and it gnaws away at me and I don't particularly enjoy it. So, um, did you get all your anger out? No. Oh. Is there anything you'd like to talk about, Tim? No, not really. I'm a bit over it. I don't want to have to analyse everyone else anymore, you know what I mean? I just want to have fun, or not have fun, but have fun, or, or not have fun, or just be here and not have to... Yeah. For sure. ...watch everyone else, you know, with this keen eye. Yeah, it's trying like to if they're behaving through. stupidly, then that's well, good why do I have to bloody point it out to everyone? Why can't that just be? Or they're not doing what I think is right. Why can't people see that? And I, why do Except I have to that, yeah. point that out? At this stage, you know what I mean. At this stage of the process, we've been here for three months. Next on Big Brother, Tim's telling it straight. Can I venture this opinion? Don't tell me if you're wrong, and tell me if I'm going too far. To evict Greg, dial 1902 555576 or SMS Greg to 191010. This is Big Brother. Logan Greg, Vesna, and Tim. You are all nominated. Tim. As the winner of the Friday Night Games, you have the power to change these nominations. Yeah. Tim, to the diary room. Tom. Who do you choose to deduct three points from? Big Brother, I choose myself because I think I'd look pretty silly to nominate two people and then um, deduct three points from them. But I object to... I think it's ridiculous that we're nominating at this late stage as four of us, and I think you know we should all be up for nomination. It's just having to—it's yeah, just a, having to nominate each other at this stage is, is just getting silly. The new nominees are Logan Gregg, Vesna, <laughs> and Melanie. <laughs> After a harrowing round of nominations, Vesna heads for the sauna, while the other housemates relax in the spa. I'm not pretending that people like when people like Christy leave and your brother leave, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I noticed that, but Kate, I really have noticed that, but just... Because your day, you feel a lot of your day was around her, mate. But, mate, I'm going to have to replace it, like... I'm going to have to replace it with you, I think. Yeah. We've been, you know, we're mates and everything, but... Yeah. We sort of stall a bit, you know what I mean? I don't feel like we're sort of pushing forward, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that reward from the weekend? I thought we might... Yeah, we didn't spend much time in there. We didn't, much, we didn't talk much, you know what I mean? I, was, I really wanted us to talk. And yeah, I know, so did I. But like, there's some people in this house I wouldn't talk to about, say, politics or something. Like, say, Christie's a good example. Yeah, I just wouldn't just talk to her. She's just not interested. Yeah. But Kate was, and I do it with you to a certain extent, but 
as I say, the last week or so, a little bit more, we've sort of slackened off, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're just taking it for granted. And I want to sort of ramp that back up, especially with Kate leaving, just to sort of... Because you're going to have to take that slack, I think, because I don't see Bess and... <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, mate, but yeah, you'll definitely feel the effect of, of her going. Well, you know, it's, it's quite obvious, to be honest. Like, you know if you like someone, and they yeah. know if you like you, you know what I mean? So, I I let her know that I'd go. I did my best to do that. Yeah. And I knew that she didn't return that, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's cool, mate, mm. that's cool, that's the way life is, like... Yeah. Um, but I did speak to her about two or three weeks ago. Yeah. You've got, mate, you got to let people know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because otherwise you can just go on and on and on, like, you know. So you mind if I'm here right now while you guys are in the chat? Not all, no. mate. Oh. I've talked to you about this. Yeah. I've talked to you about this. Can I venture this opinion? Don't tell me if you're wrong and tell me if I'm going too far. I, I, I think it's fair to say you're a very attractive woman, right? <laughs> well, you are, you are. And, I think, and I'm not trying to embarrass you, but I just yeah. And I reckon that's a factor. Because if you're very shy, and then suddenly you blossom into this absolutely gorgeous woman, then suddenly mm. everyone's paying you all this attention, you stop being shy. It is really hard for any girl who has even remotely got some attractiveness to her yeah. to try to fit in with a group of people your own age that you don't know. With certain personalities, I close over because I just get, oh God, like you get nervous, kind of. Yeah. The thing is, with my friendship with you, I said to you last week I was getting frustrated because I just didn't think you were coming out, you know what I mean? You yeah. weren't sort of lifting off and... But in here, it was like the attractiveness was taken away, so I was back to just me. <laughs> I was like, yeah. After the break, does Tim regret crying for Kate? Do you think it's embarrassing that I was a bit teary last night? No. To evict Melanie, dial 1902 555581 or SMS Melanie to 191010. It's weird now that we're down to four, you know, like it's just unbelievable. So, so, so peaceful. I'm really going to lift up this tomorrow. I'm really sorry about my performance. No, I'm so. sorry. I'm really sorry. You're I'm allowed. I'm sorry. We're not going to like hold that against you because you're allowed to feel. No, I just hate feeling. Like that. Yeah, well, we hate seeing you like that. You know, but at the end of the day, you're allowed to feel that and you've got every right to feel that. And you can take whatever happens in here in your own way. You don't have to deal with it like everyone else does and, you know, put on a happy face and a do smile the whole time. Do you think it was embarrassing that I was a bit teary last night? No. No. I feel a bit embarrassed. Why? No, I just That's a man thing. It's the guy thing now, isn't it? So I'm gonna go get changed and go to bed. I gotta, yeah, we've got exercise in the morning and I've got yeah. farm hand. Tim, it's time to get up. So good. It's time to feed the farm animals. <laughs> what are you sorry about? Hmm? What are you sorry about? Being alive. <laughs> Being what? Being alive. Can you help me out, Logan Greg? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks. Um, Logan oh, Greg. You right? Oh, oh. oh got you. Get off. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Get off. I helped you up. Get, get off. Get off. Oh, I'm exhausted. Like the Greg, it's my turn. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, my wrists, it's better that way. Oh, Ooh, hello. Come on, Greg. I'm sleeping in my bed tonight. Oh, hey? You probably should sleep in my bed tonight. I think I should sleep with Timmy. He needs it. Okay, rejected for the third time <laughs> in a row. After an emotionally draining day, Tim comes to talk to Big Brother one last time before turning in. I'm feeling really tired. It's been a horrible day. A horrible day? Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Kate goes. We have to go through this nomination process, which is just getting absolutely so difficult because there's so few people in the house and you're so close to them. 
and you have to go through this paralyzing analysis of your friendships. I just don't see why, yeah. It just hasn't been an easy process. And then I have, to, I have an extra added, you know, issue and at the end of the day, because I've won Friday Night Games, I've got to deduct points from someone. It's just been a long day. Do you think this was your worst day in the house? Most no, certainly. It was definitely my worst day in the house. Is there anything else, Tim? No, big brother. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Tim. That is all. Well, good night, everyone. Good night. That's the night, Mel. Good night. Good night. Good night, Commando. <coughs> good night, Vess. Good night, okay, Mel. Good night. Good night. Tim. Yeah. Um, is it? What are the possibilities of a huge spider coming into the house and coming into the room? Oh, I see right. Why? Because the kind of the breed of spider you're talking about wouldn't be able to fit through the crack in the door. The biggest spider, the Theodore spider, which is only found in this region of Queensland, is about this big, it's like a dinner plate. If it stings you, you're paralysed instantly and you actually are alive while it begins to suck your flesh away. You're lying. You're him. lying, aren't you? No. <laughs> Don't listen to Where a word that comes spiders? out of his fat no, mouth because it's all a lie. Dude, there's 24 hour surveillance. If you get bitten by one, it's not going to have a chance to eat your whole body before someone runs out and stops you. Why wouldn't you? When have one of you guys run out? We Don't would. Be it, it, the, there'd be an announcement. This is Big Brother. Stop the spider eating Vesna. <laughs> yeah, we'd have She's to... paralysed and half her leg is already missing. <laughs> Logan Greg, stop chatting to Mel <laughs> and assist Vesna. <laughs> Tim, stop crying about Kate in the corner <laughs> and assist Vesna. <laughs> Vesna, assist yourself. <laughs> Try to tear yourself from the straight jacket. Now put down <laughs> the white bread <laughs> <laughs> that attracts more spiders. <laughs> Tomorrow on Big Brother, the housemates are taking bonding to a new level. Greg, I'm trying to floss my teeth. Yeah, righto. To evict Vesna, dial 1902 555578. To evict Greg, dial 1902 555576. To evict Melanie, dial 1902 555581. Or SMS their names to 191010. Maddie, this is juicy stuff. Oh, I love it. Almost as much as what Greta wears. Take a fresh listen. The Matt and Joe Show, weekdays from 6 on 1019 The Fox. Australian Idol is next. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.